Hello and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. In this video, I'm going through diffusion for GCSE Biology. If you are new here, then click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So diffusion is a type of transport and it's how some substances cross the cell membrane into a cell or move out of a cell. So have you ever thought about why is it possible if you're in your bedroom that you can smell dinner cooking? or why the smell of an air freshener is all around the house? Well, the answer is diffusion. Diffusion is the spreading out of particles in either a solution, so in a liquid, or a gas, and they move from an area of high concentration to a lower concentration. So we can see here, we've got this high concentration of particles on one side of the membrane, and they diffuse or move across the cell membrane to where there is a lower concentration. And this movement happens until you reach equilibrium, which means you've got the same concentration on both sides or in all locations. So examples of where this happens in biology, oxygen and carbon dioxide move by diffusion in gas exchange. So in the alveoli, oxygen diffuses from inside the alveoli into the blood capillaries and carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood capillaries back into the alveoli to be exhaled. Urea, which is a waste product, diffuses from the cells where it's made into the blood plasma, and then it's transported to the kidneys to be removed. So what factors will increase the rate of diffusion? There's three, the difference in concentration gradients, the temperature and the surface area of the membrane. So the difference in concentrations is the concentration gradient. And the steeper the gradient, the faster diffusion will happen. And it's a bit like we can see here, these snowballs rolling down the hill. The steeper the gradient of the hill, the faster they're going to roll down. And it's the same idea with particles moving in diffusion. The higher the concentration in one area, the faster those particles will diffuse to the area where there's a lower concentration. Secondly is temperature. The higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy the particles have. And kinetic energy is movement energy. So if those particles are moving faster, then diffusion will happen faster. Lastly is the surface area of the membrane. So this only applies to if it's diffusion across a membrane. So the larger the surface that particles can diffuse across, the faster it will happen because there's more space for those particles to move through. So that is it for diffusion. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. 